Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're back in Soul Mask for the complete series and we're going to go get some worship containers today to go and start and kill the Sabertooth boss in the third episode with our three tribesmen. Now first I just want to quickly go through what we've done. So basically we've put the items for each of what they can use. Now I don't have a set of gauntlets right now which uh, actually I'm going to start breaking this stuff down because none of this stuff can actually be used by any of us so i'll break it down so we can get it to his base components while it's in the background um and then we're just going to go through what i've put on each of them let's just break all of this down no we don't want to break that down okay now while it's still in the background we've put all of the best gear that we currently have which i've collected i haven't crafted anything yet because we're not going to start crafting until we move to our next area so each of because i haven't got gauntlets i've stuck a jewel blade on this guy on our vampire gauntlets guy and we have our tank which is for sword and shield we're using the sword and shield and put the best items on there and then we've got our archer we got our range guy now i don't have many arrows for this guy um actually do we have any we have some bone arrows there we can stick those in there and you can use them afterwards uh bu -bu 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 bone bow actually we'll stick that in there and you can break that down Stick the 35 arrows in there for the moment. Uh, so basically, we have the bow guy, we have our arch guy, we have our tank, and we have our melee DPS. Now, on the behavior settings, I've done this battle style setting. If you hold down E and go to there. And this guy's on normal, so he's just going to attack. On the tank, we have the behavior setting of uh, defensive. Now, on the archer itself, we go into behavior settings, battle style settings, and we have that on range. Now, we're going to see how well they do whilst we go in here and wipe out this actual full village. If I'm going in the right direction, it's over this way. So, yeah, we're going to go in. We're going to wipe out, get a worship containers, and try and kill the Sabertooth boss in this episode. And we missed. We got this guy. We're going to put him on. You know what? We're going to put him on active so it kills everyone. Uh, I pressed the wrong button because I haven't got my FN buttons turned on. There we go. Now it's better. Why are you guys not killing? Go and kill these guys out, right? There we go. And we're just going to go through the entirety of this place. He had to move right at the last second, though, didn't he? Let's see how well these guys actually do now with the thing. These guys are dodging everything. Our tank is being too far up oh, because it's actually... Oh, there we go. That was nice. See how well these guys actually do going through the entirety of the place. Go on, hit these dudes. How much damage is he actually doing with those? Because they're learning their proficiencies while they're actually doing it. Let's get just get our sword out and start helping these dudes. Because we're just going to wipe out the whole village anyway. Come on, guys. Oh, we don't want to, don't want to have to have No, 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 no. Bye, bye. You're down and out. We don't want to put them on fully active mode. We want them in assist mode. Because if we have them on active, they're just going to run around and start grabbing whatever the hell they want. I'm not going to try and uh, get any guys this time around. Because we're going to be moving to a different area where it's going to have higher tier stuff. And we're going to eventually want to move to the fortress. You could just have them on, like, fully attacking everything. Let's start grabbing up some of this stuff. Because we do need a lot of this stuff. I don't know why it just decided to turn to nighttime as we we're here. Let's put our little torch on so we can actually see things that are going on. Oh, there's gauntlets. Let's go on to this guy and we'll get these gauntlets over to him. There we go. Now you've got the gauntlets, you should be doing a lot more. Let's head up and start wiping out these guys. Are you going to do better with your gauntlets? He's running defensively and it's taunting. So that it's actually being a tank. Okay, we need to go on and change that to mode active so they actually fight everything. Bye bye. And it seems like they're actually healing up a pretty decent amount as well. It doesn't hit as fast as, say, a player who's using a pair of gauntlets. He is now. That's actually pretty decent. They're doing pretty well. It looks like it's like it might make the game a little too easy, but we'll see how it goes when we get to the bosses and stuff. Because the bosses do a hell of a lot of damage. There'll be some knockdowns. I'll have to run around and grab people up as they're being tanked and stuff. 
Right, let's just jump across. What do we have over here? Let's kill all these guys. Go in there and start murdering people. This guy's shooting arrows over here. Nice. Everything seems to be working as expected, as it should do. Except for me, because I can't actually play this game. So this is going to help those of you who, like me, are not very good at the combat. It's actually not bad. Just grab all this stuff as we're going through. And down. Let's grab these boxes. We probably missed... The, the thing is, running through here, which I don't like sometimes, is the fact that... Um, I went into the wrong menu. Is the fact that... It's kind of... There could be a chance of you getting the world's best crafter doing this. So it's kind of like... Right, let's just go over here and we'll put them on active mode. Get you down. Just picking up everything because something... Why is this box already open? I didn't open that box. Where's the third guy gone? Where'd our tank go? Oh, there he is. Well, no, Vampire G's over there. Where are you going, tank? You're jumping over the wall. Okay. How did you jump over that wall? Oh, God. Just start killing everyone. He's running. The, the, the archer guy's getting a bit of a ass kicking. I wish there was a better way that you could, I wish you could actually control, but this is the first iteration. I wish you could actually control the, um, like the actual individuals. They need to have a little bit of a better AI for the team group running. But as for now, like, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's just pick up all this stuff. Is someone fighting a boss? Oh, look, the tank's fighting a boss over there. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta help him fight the boss. How many are you fighting in the corner over here? Let's get the spinning. Spinning it. Spinning sword. Help the tank out. Alright, let's kill this mini boss. Let's see how they do against this mini boss. We kind of want you to come out here a bit. Come out here a bit. So you can get you out of the fence. Come. Vampire G's just doing his thing over there on attack mode. Come. Passive, run over here. Their quick responsiveness on the passive and stuff is really good. Right. He still managed to get me. We'll just kill that other guy and then we can get on this boss. I'm out of the way. Right, all of you jump on that guy. Start firing arrows. Nice dodge. And these first one's down. We have got a pretty good set of gear. Right, let's grab all of this and start giving out some decent weapons to our guys. This is the... Alright. Let's put everything in perspective. He's got, like, full duration gauntlets there now. So that's pretty decent. Um, duh, 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 what? Where's the tank? Because the tank took a lot of damage. You took a lot of damage there, mate. Let's split this. Let's give you some. Take the rest over here. Uh, you have just a blue shield. Do we have a better shield? There's only wooden shields that have dropped so far. Not very good. Mm -mm -mm. Tier 4 bone sword. I'm going to use that myself. Uh, we didn't get any. We've only got the blue bone hammer. I would prefer to use the bone hammer. Heat proof mod. Nice. And we've got some poison proof mods there. Uh, da, da, da. Gloves. Do we have any better gloves to put on them? Let's stick the gloves on you. And do you have any better shoes? We do indeed. Do we have a better necklace for you? No, no necklaces have been picked up yet. Beast bone ring. We'll give you that so you can do a little bit more damage. Uh, let's go on to... Oh, we have... I think we've got, uh, we got a, not a great bow on here. So we've got the tier 4 bone bow, which is full. So let's stick these arrows on there. I'm not going to use arrows for now until we... We'll craft specific arrows eventually. We have 26 stone arrows. He can use them for the minute. And when he can't use that, we'll use the dual blades on him. What we should have done really is stuck that bone sword that's full on there. 
so we can at least use it for a long period of time you got health we need to stick what i didn't do earlier was actually like stick bandages on these guys so they can use them you can have that in there and where are you you're not really going to be in range but just in case we'll stick a bandage on you this seems that actually better at using it but i don't know what it's like in combat at the moment it's gonna be something we're gonna have to look into right let's open up these boxes see what we get in there um i haven't got anything really up on the like on the previous playthroughs everything's kind of what it should be it's just i get a little bit more in boss drops etc so i'm not having to farm the same boss a million times just to get the one item like one or like a stack of items let us head all right we've got barbarian up there Yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good, man. I don't see the issue here. We'll see how they do against this uh, next big one. We'll see how they do against the big boss. That'll be the real test, for at least for the moment, because we're just wearing the items that we've collected. It's not like we've crafted anything. I'm not using, like, the armor crafters and weapon crafters and that sort of thing. We're just uh, basically using what we've collected so far, so it's not like they're going to be super overpowered or anything. Uh, I want to grab one of the alpacas from up here as well. Go on, give me a hand, boys. Jump in. Okay, I'll dodge in the right direction. That'd be nice. Bye-bye. You're not allowed to use bandages, sir. Alright. I'm out of the way. Right, we're gonna not want to jump in and grab everything straight away. How much damage do you guys actually do to these? Because I can't see unless I hit them, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if there's an option. If there's an option for that, let me know down below. Because I think that'll be uh, really good to actually have that. Okay, these guys... Oh, okay. We're already fighting the boss, guy. We're already jumping in and fighting the boss. Right, let's see how they do against the boss. Let's leave them to it. They're going to fight all three of them. Where's the bow arrow guys over there fighting? We already killed the cat. Oh, God, this guy's... We need to give him a little hand with the extra guys here. Yeah, get them out of the way. What is that giant man? What is that? Can I can I get these guys or what? No, I can't. That guy's giant. I wanted him. Are you actually... You're still fighting the boss over here. And I hit my own guy there. Luckily, it's not a... Uh, hunting score. What do you get for that? Hmm, enlightenment. Highest tier. Who's firing arrows? Ah, it's the guy up there. So what the hell is going on? Go down, stay down there and fight the boss, guys. Don't follow me. Go down there and fight the boss. You need to fight the boss, otherwise he's going to start doing some madness. You got the guy still shooting his arrows. Oh, he's knocked down. And then they did a lot of finishing moves on him. They're not doing much damage to him. So I'm guessing that, like, uh, they actually nerfed the companion damage for this very reason. Because I've had companions that can solo these guys. But again, it might be the armor they're wearing. But that was pretty damn good. That was pretty damn decent. Uh, we got worship and Yes, we do. We have three. So what are really... Let's just collect all this stuff. That's all we really came in here for. We really just came in here to grab the worship container so we can go and do the Sabertooth boss. Uh, the barbarian up here. What have you got? Is gold novice warrior. Bye. What do you have on you? You had something nice there. Um, let's open up the chest and then we'll head off. And we'll start going over. Because we only need beast blood and that sort of thing. Let's grab flint trap basic cloth so we can craft their armors later. Because they can actually do that straight away. Did I pick up the boss's bag? I did. I swear. I think I did. No. I don't want to miss that. Uh, guys, where have you run off to? Passive, come over here. Where have you gone? There we go. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. There was nothing else in this area. I want to go grab this alpaca, one of these baby alpacas. They're both white, so that's not very good. But there's three of them. You're bigger. This one's bigger. Let's capture you. You're mine now. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll get you to deploy. 
I think that's the biggest one. It looks like it. Okay, now you're, that's going to be annoying as hell when you get stuck in a way. That's going to be really annoying. Uh, reset location. And you're stuck in a bloody doorway. Get away. There we go. Right. I'll pack up, follow. Cool man to follow. Pick up everything away. Now let's go grab our stuff. And we'll head over to the saber tooth boss. I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to go straight like this. They've got everything they need. Let's eat a little bit. And we'll just head straight over there. I don't think we need to do anything else, to be honest. Head out. There's a box chest there we didn't pick up. Get some more pumpkins for when we want to get our llama later. What did I miss there? Right, let me just actually break down uh, some of the stuff that we have in our bag now. Because we've got a lot of stuff we're not going to be using. Break, 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 break. Uh, we don't we want to use those. Don't need that. Let's break all this down. No one's using dual blades right now. No, we got bone stuff, so we don't really need. No one's using the bone. That, that is that tier. No, it's tier one. We don't need that. Let's break all of this down. Uh, yeah. I feel like I didn't pick up the bag for the boss, and someone's gonna probably point that out that I just missed that. But let's break all this down. Uh, you don't want to break you because I'm gonna wear you. Uh, we're gonna wear you. I'm gonna put them on my main character. And we're going to get a giant bow. Let's put all that, all of this armor that's good over here. And just break down all the other stuff. And the last pieces, I'm going to use that bone ring for myself. Two nice ones there. So all that's broken down. We're going to put the bone ring here. Where's my necklace gone? We can use that one. Um, the tier four, that one's full. And we're going to use the gloves. Use the red ones here. Usually when you kill the bosses in an area, they do actually give you pretty decent amounts. Is that beast bone? That's tier four. My one's better. Uh, and what was the last bit? Boots. Do we have any decent boots? We've got flint tribe basics. Yeah. We'll stick that on because it's got more. So we're pretty much set up on that front. Uh, beast bone, long bow, beast bone, long bow. This one's better, so we can take this one off the bar. Uh, but, 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 but. Do we not have... I didn't pick up any giant bows, I don't think, because that's what I really kind of want to use. It's a bone bow, beast bone, long bow. It's going to break all that stuff down. We do need to... Maybe we'll go and... Mm, nah, I just want to go like this. We'll just go like this. We'll drop off the stuff at the base. Let's pick this up. We'll drop off the stuff at the base and then we'll head over to the saber tooth and just kill him like that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have to run over there which is gonna be a kind of a nightmare but it is what it is i haven't got a mount at the moment just gonna check there's gonna be enough stuff in a bonfire so they don't lose anything we've got some stuff out here we didn't pick up either just waste not want not i think everyone's got food and stuff but I'll grab i've got a load of stuff coming with me anyway so the morale starting to go down. We probably need to lay down a bit. I haven't got a bed, but we're just going to head over there because otherwise it's going to take a long time. Uh, where's the animal? We need beast blood. So we'll fill that in. We'll just put everything that we can in this box right now. In the minerals, plants, etc. So we have everything we don't need in there. Uh, uh, beast burn. It's just cra decrafting all of this crap. We'll just leave that to decraft. We don't have a food box, I don't think. Everything that needs to be crafted as charcoal, tannin fluid. You get quite nice items out of those boxes when you go into the villages. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, we're carrying a lot of stuff still. Let's see if we can craft any wooden chests. I don't think you can craft it out of this. Let's just, you know what? Let's just head over there. We need to grab beast blood. Uh, beast blood, normal meat. Where's the normal meat at? I should have a load on me. Yep. Fresh meat, beast blood, and beast bone. We'll just carry it all. Why not? And let's head over towards... I should really grab that scout, but... I know my luck, I'm just going to lose it. We'll grab that scout on the way so we can grab him at least. I'll put them all on passive and I'll just punch the scout to death. Because I don't really want to screw it up. 
it's gonna take us a while to get over there so i'll probably put a little cut in there until we get there I actually ran into a jaguar let's see how they do against this day it's gonna be pretty simple i think yeah like super easy this guy should have some premium stuff nah just the and that should be enough for everything we need we're missing one of our followers Uh, we're missing tank. Where's tank? Tank spear, tank shield. Oh, we picked up the wrong one. Ah, it's, it's actually... Mm. Why are you not deployed? Deploy. Oh, we still got a yeah, packer following us. I kind of brought it along by accident. So we don't even know where that tank's gone now. Because they're not following us anymore. That's going to be kind of bad. I know you don't want to attack all that stuff. Don't waste the arrows. Tank is too far, unable to execute orders. But why isn't it teleporting then? So I can't change anything because then enough tank is too far to execute orders. That was a big ass pig. Yeah, that didn't do too bad. So I'm not sure where the tank went. So we're just going to have to kind of head back to the base. Because that's kind of... These things are all massive. I am swear I talked about that last time. We kind of need the tank. Congrats on the perfect kill. Okay. Let's turn the torch off so we don't waste it. Uh, Yeah, that's kind of weird. We'll head back to the bonfire real quick. And see if tank is near there otherwise we're gonna have to like undeploy it and lose it because i have no idea where it'd be it should show on a map ah tank's over there so why are you over there stop attacking everything you have to switch everything all the time up because there's so many animals laying and they'll just attack my cores they'll attack literally everything so the when you're running to a place just have them on passive it's just the best thing you can do is tank still inside It looks like tank's still inside somewhere. Yeah, it looks like tank's still up there. Ah, oh, because we deployed. Maybe she's stuck on that. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, just kill everyone, guys. Just kill everyone. Let's try and get... We can farm a couple more arrows. Ah, okay, Archer's got no arrows left. So he jumps onto melee, which is another good thing. But he doesn't do much... They don't do much damage. Like, at all. Right, Tank, are you coming or what? I really dislike the Greatsword. Oh, no, this is bad. This, the sport guy's gonna come in. Let's kill this thing. So at least there'll be no more coming in. But we get some guys over here we can kill. Put some additional XP, I guess. How? How? I didn't even do anything. At least they're just clearing out. Okay. The hitboxes are getting kind of weird. 
Have they lit the other fire on the other side is the question. We need to loot up all of these boxes to try and get as much as we can. So do not reset location. Let's put him on passive now. Let's not do not reset location while you're actually uh, a <laughs> nice little one shot. While you're like having them deployed. That's not good. Okay, you guys can help out. Having to swap that over all the time is really annoying. Like, that can be insanely annoying. Um, this whole place is respawned, man. So, I guess, like, while we're doing... Oh, okay. Kill it. Everyone, kill it. How are you jumping over fences? Why can't I jump over those fences? It never lets me do it. What am I getting shot at over there? Come on, let's go kill everything. Alpaca, you're gonna... The... This is gonna be rather annoying, to be honest. I don't think the bosses respawned, at least. It was just the, uh... The actual... Just the denizens of the town. Right, who's that over here? You're carrying literally every damn weapon in the game, to be honest. How much of it did you drop? None of it. We'll keep all his arrows so he can just run around. Why are you just... Okay. We'll just have him run around with his jaw blades for now so he doesn't waste the arrows so we can use them on the uh, Sabertooth boss. I really need to work on the, uh, how I'm using these things. Oh. Right, Tank, what are you doing over here? Oh, God, you're actually getting absolutely destroyed. So you were in here, you were in here just fighting that whole time. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, you're going to heal yourself? There we go. Vampire G's in here just doing his thing. Never running low on HP. Are you gonna are you gonna follow or what? So let's do that and that and then put it on F6 and see if you follow us this time. All the good time nom noms in here. Pick up all the boxes. I guess they killed all uh, yeah, you're following us now. So literally you got stuck in there, and while you were stuck in there, everything respawned on top of you. That's not good times. Not good times at all. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump over the wall here. See if it does it. Whee! See if they teleport straight over to me. Right, we're going to head over to the... Uh, are you all here now? Yeah. We're going to head over there now and actually do this. Shortcuts that way. Right, we're at the scout. And I'm going to try to not kill everything in one hit, which would be nice. So we're going to get our fists out and only punch them a few times. Come on, stop dodging. Here we go. Right. This time we at least got the scout done for the Western Rainforest. You guys can now fight the bush dog because screw it. Are you going to kill the bush dog? I really, I want the hammer back. I'm not good with the greatsword. Like, I'm really bad at it. I'm not good with anything, really, but I'm definitely better with the great, uh, with the big hammer than I am with anything else. So, what weapons have we got? Did we pick up any great hammers? I think I broke down the only one we had. Let's just break all this stuff down. Uh, we don't need any of these, any of these, any of these. We'll do when we get a, like when we get our best setup in the new place. We will craft everyone some good gear. This is just to kind of show you that you can actually just 
do this with the standard gear. At least at the beginning, you don't have to overdo it. But we're going to see if we can actually even kill this boss. Because it could go really, really wrong. Let's keep that. And that's all breaking down. That should be fine in a momentito. Right, let's head off. Because we've got that one which we didn't even need. I don't think. No, we didn't need that one. I was just being special. There's the shortcut. Ah. Okay. I have to remember how to get up. We have to go around this way, I do believe. I don't think there's a way over the river. There might be. We'll try it. I know there's going to be some piranhas and alligators and stuff in here. But we got a four-man team now, so we don't have to worry that much about it, to be perfectly honest. You can just basically run through everything. They are pretty bad in the water. I don't know if you guys have used them yet in the water, but they are pretty damn bad in the water. They kind of just run around in circles. No idea what's going on. No idea what they're doing. Ancient ruins. We do need more green crystals, so we'll kill these dudes. We'll grab up their food just in case we need them. If we do the saber tooth guy a couple of times, we can farm some decent stuff from him in one go rather than just sitting around and having to go back and forth. But we'll be living near the saber tooth boss at least. So once we get to like copper tier, I'll probably try and do the berserk saber tooth so we can get the armor. And then if our DPS and that are using that armor, and we, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a good time. I don't think there'll be many issues at that point. At least for the first few bosses. I kind of want to, what I kind of want to do, at least for the Vajra Ape, the Vajra Ape is probably going to, like, need three guys with giant bows, and you just kind of dodging his attacks, because they can, oh, god. Come on, help me, help me. I'm getting absolutely murdered. Are you going to kill it? Yeah, that's good times, okay. One in ten achievement reached. Nice. Let's get the Arcona Carcass Chunks. They actually did pretty decent damage to it. And, oh, oh god, there's another one. Where are you guys coming from? What is that? What is, what is that? What is that yellow one? What is that? I've never seen a yellow one. Extraordinary. That... I haven't seen a yellow anaconda yet. I've only ever seen them black. I thought that was like some master elite thing. What is this over here? Is this just a little... Uh, this would be pretty decent as a little hidey hole spot. If you're on a PvP server. Even though you need massive bases just to put all the crafting stuff in there. So yeah, basically just run, <laughs> running around, letting them do their thing. Steal some eggs. Nice amount of eggs. Don't kill all the turkeys. Come on. I think our guy actually grew up then. Yep, our pack is all grown up. You know what? I'm running too far away. We're gonna... No, that's too high. What? Why have I got water sounds? Just let, let, let the NPCs do the entire game, I guess. I'm trying to find a way up without climbing halfway up a mountain. I don't like... That when your camera goes in the direction of water, that it starts going underwater. That, that can be really annoying. And it gets really annoying really quickly. I, I don't know why that happens. Uh, what do we have over here? Balls. Doesn't matter. We want assist. So you guys can just fight balls and stuff. Because we'll have to remember to put them on passive before we get to the scout to unlock it. And then we head up that way for the Sabertooth boss fight and see how well they're doing. We're getting attacked by literally the world right now. Right, so on passive. Which one's the scout? Okay, that's fine. Bush dog. Oh god, why am I hitting so damn hard with just my fists? These guys, it shouldn't be like that. Right, kill everything. You can fight everything now, that's your business. At least we got that unlocked this time and it wasn't just like how it usually is where I just crit and kill everything by accident. Right, now we have this unlocked, we can head our way over to this lovely area. 
which is over there. 900 meters away. It's not too far. Hopefully we don't. They still put them on passive because I don't want to attack every animal that goes past, please. It's going to take a month to get there if we stop for every single animal. And what we're going to do when we actually get to the Sabertooth bosses, I'm not going to get involved. I'm just going to let our guys fight the Sabertooth and we're going to see what happens. We're just going to see what happens when we get there and just let them fight it out and see if they heal. If they do drop, I'm going to pick them up because I'm just going to be like a battle medic, basically. Which is why I'm going to be getting the mask for better NPCs because we're going to be doing the whole game with the three NPC type thing. Getting through the whole area and having to sort of switch and swap between NPCs just because certain bosses need certain weapon types, etc, etc. Ancient ruins. Let's go in here. Where's the ancient ruins gone? I just... There it is there. What is it? Is it people? Bush dogs. Screw it. Just kill all the bush dogs. I'm going to go and grab the chest. Have fun, boys. We have to remember to put arrows. They didn't hit very hard on these guys, though. We'll have to um, make sure we put the arrows in the archer. Let's grab this stuff, because we haven't got many... Getting, uh, like getting the stuff from animals is really difficult until you get the pens set up. It's kind of annoying, actually. And I wish there was like a way that you could... So Master Hunter should be able to hunt. That should be a thing that's actually in the game, at least in my opinion. That there should be like the wild gather, but hunting. There is bush dogs fucking everywhere. Every two minutes is boom, boom. I wish I'd... Next, next time I play through, well, there's another big update. I'm literally, not, I'm going to turn that, I'm not going to unlock that node. Okay, that was really bad. The alpaca is actually quite big. What level did it come out at? Bush dogs everywhere. What's that? I keep hearing that noise of like laughing. What is it? Like a macaw or something? It's like, gosh, it's got to be a parrot. Alright, uh, let's head up the side here and head over to the saber tooth and get this one done. I'm just going to climb up this time. Because... Or just get stuck on a ramp that doesn't exist. Are you going to get up there? Or... Yeah, sweet as. Okay, what are we just running? Oh, it's just a turkey. Yeah, that literally looked like something uh, completely far more demonic than just a turkey, to be honest. We don't want you guys to kill anything. I want to kind of test the uh, save me function as well. We're just going to climb up the side here because screw it. Why not? Get up the side. Try and do it without as much climbing as possible. Vampire G's climbing up easily. So why aren't the rest of you? All right. Yeah, we're almost at the top. I don't know what you're doing there, mate. You're doing something that you shouldn't do. Okay. We made it up. Do a little bit of concentration there. Jesus. Why are we, oh, I thought we were missing someone then. That was going to get... All right, let's unlock that. I think we have enough green crystals to unlock it. It should only take two. So at least we have that straight away. I should have really got the uh, rainforest teleporter as we went past it. Maybe I'll grab that on the way back. Unlock... Nice. What I actually need to do is unlock this so we so we can get more tribesmen. Yep. And then we can just get the other ones later on. I'll use the remaining green crystals to do the um, unlock the portal on the way back. But I do need to spend a day farming green crystals to be able to unlock stuff. And obviously we're going to get quite a decent amount from here. So we're going to get our mount to stop following us. So you can stay there, Mr. Alpaca. We need a name for him. Give us a name for him down in the comments. And let's try and see how we can do. We might lose all three guys here. Who knows? We have to check to make sure that these guys have bandages, etc. So let's go in and you have bandages. You have bandages. What I'm going to do actually is split some of this food up as well and give you some of this food. So you can have four broths and you can eat that. You? Do you have? That's tank. You have bandages. Let's split up some more broths. These are still the broths I was using at the beginning. So I've been using cooked meat basically. And you can have that and Archer. We need to do all the arrows. We need to give you all the arrows. You have 31, 44 there. Let's give you all of them. 
I think that's all the arrows we've got. We have broken down all of it, so yeah, we've got enough here. Uh, stone arrows. We'll stick stone arrows in there, but you can have 44. And you're stuck on ranged. So let's... <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Let's see what let's see what happens. This is gonna be so bad. Or oh, it's gonna be really good. I don't know, because last time I did this boss, he was super easy. So go on, go and attack. Go and enjoy yourselves. He's gonna do a roar and stun everyone. But we still got the arrow guy firing. I wanna see his HP, but the only way I can see his HP. Why are you following me? Attack him, man. Attack. Why are you not attacking? Attack. Attack. We're going to have to help these guys. Otherwise, this is going to this is going to take a week. Who are you attacking anyway? Is it he's still attacking the tank? You need to heal, mate. You need to heal. You definitely need to heal. We should have come here with a big bow. I could have one shot him. Is that guy down? He's down over there. Let's get him up. Rescuing. Do not move. Oh, he's running around. So as long as we keep these guys from actually just like... If we can hit him for a thousand every now and then. Because we're literally wearing just basic tribe gear, man. Right, we knocked him down. Let's do some big damage. Do some big damage. Big head damage. Don't attack me because I need to get the NPC up. Oh god, this is going to be bad. Of course it's going to be bad. Oh, uh, he got the bleed off. We need to get the tank up. He's up already. And I got stuck in a menu because, of course, I would. Get the bandage up. No! Get out of the way. I need to put... Second one is always the one you got to dodge, not the first one. I have to remember that since I was actually able to... Uh... You're going to jump now, aren't you? Jump on someone else. Good times. That's good. That's good. We don't want anything to do with that. Stop. Stop coming to me and fight him. Stop coming to me and fight him. That's really annoying. I've got him stunned. We got him knocked down. Do big damage. Big damage. Why am I talking like we're in a bloody MMORPG? Right, we're almost going down. Oh, oh, second one. It was the second one. Always the second one, guys. Oh, don't jump on me. Don't jump on me. Jump on someone else. Okay, that's good. Go on, fight him over there. Oh, God. We've almost got him down. We need everyone with bows. If everyone had bows, this would be easy mode. And we'd just do double jump shot. He's almost down. We can almost kill him. These guys are actually really using their bandages really well. He's almost down. We've almost killed him. And he's down. Down for the count, Mr. Sabretooth. Good job, team. That was a bit of hit and miss. It was a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Why is this guy not... Why is he not giving us... Oh, there we go. I was like, why is he not giving us what we need? That was a uh, hit and miss, let's say. <laughs> Uh, you used 20 bandages in that fight? You really used 20 bandages? That means you're using a lot of bandages. You can heal up. Should we do another one while we're here? Do you have enough arrows, Mr. Archer guy? That's the question. No, you don't. That's why you stopped using your arrows, because you went through them really quickly. That's why we need the, like, the for the NPCs, the archers, I think at least they need to have, uh, let's call them out to follow you too far away. Um, at least for the NPCs, because they go through their arrows really quickly, the giant be like the giant bows will be the best bet. At least for me. Come on. Where are you guys going? Let's go inside and get our first unlock. Third episode, and we got the first boss. Wearing just flint tried basic armor and weapons. It's doable. I mean, you can do that, like, solo. Like, it's not, like, that difficult if you know the mechanics and stuff. It's pretty easy. Especially when you're using a giant bow, because you can just stun lock him. But as a standard, like, playing the game without using cheesy mechanics, that went pretty well, I think, at least. Let me know down below what you think, if it's easier, harder than normal. Have you guys started killing bosses with free tribesmen now, instead of just using the one on yourself? Are you using... I don't know if you guys actually, uh, like, do on official servers and have multiple people playing with you. 
Um, I haven't had it. I haven't got anyone really to play with on official servers. So that's the, I haven't really done it so far, at least for now. We got the module in here. Mysterious device. And let's go unlock our good terms. First module. First one done. Unlock. Sabertooth key. Good job, guys. Team Sovereign. That's a hell of a lot of noise. That was really bloody loud. Okay. Now we're all done here. We're pretty much... I'm going to put a cut in here because I'm going to head back. Um, the video is actually quite a decent amount of length. So we're going to head back to the base. We're going to go pick up the alpaca. And then in the next episode, we're going to move our base location because this is what we wanted to do over here. And where the waterfall is, is at the other end of this tunnel. So it's through here and the other end of this tunnel. Um, it's quite far from everything else. So I, I might change that idea. If you guys think that's a... What, if you guys have a better base location you can think of, maybe in the middle, directly in the middle of the map, there's a big load of flat open spaces there. So it's actually pretty good. Um, what I need to do, really, since you can't climb up there, there's a two unlock tech point thing up there. But you have to go all the way around and climb up the side there. So yeah, that's basically what we got for this episode. The uh, next step will be to actually go to our next base location. I'm taking the middle of the map, but I really wanted to do something in that waterfall. But I might do a separate build video where I build on that waterfall. So that might be a pretty good idea. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. And if you guys decide I should build on the waterfall, I should go to the center of the map so I can branch out to all the different areas. Like sort of kind of near where the Slayer X temple is. Where is my alpaca that I left behind? He's over here. We should have really unlocked this guy because our base is all the way down there. I forgot I'm going to need to do that on a way I'm... Right, so I want to thank you all for watching. This is Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. You want to shop for all your survival gaming content. Fly safe. And avoid local chat scams. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Looking